Greetings, story bakers. My name is Landon, uh, as you know, and it's been a while. Uh, I've really missed uploading a video. It's uh, it's kind of an interesting experience when you get into a nice groove of it, and then a bunch of stuff happens and you're not uploading. But last month was a fantastic month. I have no complaints. I did another collaboration video with Wabam Entertainment. I did the library book sale tour video. All in all, I got five videos up in the month of May, and that to me was exciting. That that's a new record for Story Bake, and I think I deserve this month off. Yeah, no doubt about it there. But now that I'm well rested, I'm ready to get back at it. So here's just a brief uh, recap of what's been going on. Uh, one, I got a new job. Uh, it's awesome. I'm, I'm so glad to be working, uh, but it is taking a lot of time from my schedule that I would have had for Story Bake. So uh, once the job kind of normalizes and I get into the new groove of things, I will have even more time to dedicate here and get videos to you. Um, also, I'm writing more for Wabim Entertainment, as I mentioned with the collab video. Mostly right now I've been writing editorials and news bits. Uh, you can check out a couple of my favorites down in the description below. Uh, they ought to rock your socks if you're a fan of Star Wars or anime. Also at Wabam, I am on their new podcast, the Wabam Entertainment Podcast. Uh, and there we pretty much just talk geek stuff. I've been on podcasts about Solo, a Star Wars story, a podcast about E3, and a little bit of everything in between. Um, we plan on covering a lot of geek stuff, and if you like that, definitely subscribe and check it out. Also, I'm still doing uh, a lot of work with Pendant Productions. Uh, Pendant, as you may know, uh, a lot of those who've been with my work for a long time, uh, Pendant does audio drama podcasts. And for several years, I was the director of the Pendant Shakespeare, which is uh, adaptations of Shakespeare plays as a free podcast. And so uh, that was a lot of fun, but um, I did have to step down from that several years ago. And in the, the years since, I have been the dramaturge. And being the dramaturge is awesome because you get to adapt all those plays for audio you get to, to move them into the modern era and put your own spin on things, and it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, but it's also a lot of work. And so, uh, again, a little bit of extra time that I would have uh, dedicated to Story Bake has gone there. Also at Pendant, uh, they have a podcast called This Week in Pendant. Uh, it's a news and interview podcast that's all about uh, what's going on with their productions. And uh, I was recently asked to be interviewed by Jordan Gottlieb, who is a marvelous interviewer, by the way. And uh, so we had, we had a nice 45 minute or so chat, and that should be up on Sunday, which is tomorrow, if this video posts when I want it to. Um, I'm going to be updating the URL for that in the description down below, and you should also see it go out on my social media feeds. Uh, next is the big item, the big one that I wanted to talk about, and that is that I have a new Story Bake video coming next week. Lord Willen and the Creek Don't Rise, you will have a 4th of July video titled, What Makes a Great Speech? Now, um, yeah, that was a little too dramatic, but, uh, it is awesome. And I'm just going to let you stew on that. I'm not going to tell you what it's about. I'm going to let you stew on it and see what speeches you think I'm going to be talking about. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to be pinning my favorite comment down below uh, with predictions. So go ahead and hop in there and make some predictions. <laughs> make my day. Um, but yeah, that's coming next week. So be on the lookout. Finally, what's to come next? Uh, again... I'm busy, 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 but I have over two years of videos planned. And so that 
that's a good problem to have because it means there is an abundance of material for me to cover. So first on the docket is probably going to be a summer movie review uh, in late July, sometime in August perhaps. Um, I've got a bunch of movie reviews that I've been meaning to do and I just haven't been able to get them all done. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the non-spoiler highlights of all those movies, put them in one video. So uh, that should probably be a nice 5-10 to 10 minute video for you guys. Next, uh, I'm hoping to do a anime inspired video uh, sometime in August. Uh, stay tuned for that. And then finally, I have uh, videos in the works about Fortnite, a famous singer, who, again, I'm going to let you stew on that. And I have a DIY video that is filmed and ready to go. I just have to edit it. And so that, too, is going to be really cool. Um, I can't wait for you to see that. Um, I'm also still working on the What Makes a Great Christian Film video. I didn't forget. I'm still working on it. Um, I can only imagine finally dropped on home video the other week. And so I'm going to do my best to see it as soon as I can. Um, and then I still need to see Come Sunday on Netflix. But um, not sure when that'll be. Again, I hope soon. Because I really want to finish that video. It's written... And I really just wanted to see those two movies before I finished it to make sure I was nice and thorough. And um, I hope in the end that the wait will have been worth it for you guys. Um, also, one more thing, and uh, I've got a funny story about this actually, is uh, later this fall and winter sometime, I am planning a video about Blade Runner. Uh, my friend Jeffrey Bridges has this opinion about Rick Deckard. It's solid in its understanding, but it comes from a certain point of view that uh, isn't exactly compatible with the sequel 2049. And uh, it's, it's really interesting to me because it's one of those weird instances where I simultaneously agree and disagree with what my friend is saying. And so, I want to understand it more. I, I want to understand his opinion more. And I want to understand if I agree with it. So, um, I decided to track down Blade Runner on Blu-ray so I could rewatch it and write this video. And it took me... I think I made somewhere between 6 and 12 trips to the store to try and find this movie. It was getting a little ridiculous. Uh, one time I went and it said on Walmart's website, oh, we've got it in stock. And then it turned out they didn't. And then I went another time and it turned out that they're remodeling the store so none of the movies are on the shelf. And it was the absolute worst time to try and buy a movie. So I finally just ordered it online, had it sent to the store, went and picked it up, now it's in my hands. Um, so once I get around to seeing that, I'm going to write the script, put the video out. It's going to be amazing. And I really can't wait for y'all to see it. Um, and I can't wait for Jeffrey to see it because I'm going to be curious if... I'm going to be curious if I wind up agreeing with him. Because again, like I said, it's one of those things where I simultaneously agree and simultaneously disagree because of continuity reasons. Um, this is one thing I love so much about storytelling is opinions because, uh, perfectly reasonable people can have different opinions. Um, movies, movies are, are particularly movies. It's a visual medium. And so when you're watching a visual medium, it is very subjective. And so you can be watching it and one person will get one thing and another person will get another thing now i should also preface uh the thing he's talking about the thing that uh the video is going to be about is partially a result of the ma many different cuts of the movie 
there's like if you know the history of Blade Runner there's like four to five cuts so some cuts portray Rick Deckard in one way and some cuts portray him in a different way and that makes a huge difference in perception huge difference um, there's also the perception of the character if you've seen 2049 the sequel uh, because he's portrayed but very different in that also um, yeah I I could honestly ramble about Blade Runner for hours because it is one of those rare film series where everything in it can be interpreted a completely different way by a different person and I would not consider it invalid necessarily but yeah that's that's pretty much all I gotta say about it until I see the movie again I'm interested to see where my opinion falls, if it changes, if it stays the same. Um, if there was things I missed on my first viewing that just didn't click with me, I'm really excited to find that out. Anyways, that's what I've got for now. Stay tuned for more videos. They're coming. I'm excited to be making them. And I'm excited that you're along for the ride. I, I'm just astounded by the response to Story Bake, and I'm so glad and happy to have people like you all who are as invested in storytelling as I am. So stay tuned and uh, be sure to tune in next week for more awesomeness. I'll see y'all soon and have a great weekend. Thanks. <laughs>